我是从大学的第一天开始学中文。今天我是在二零一六年的三月开始学中文。我是在国内才开始学的中文，而是在厦门大学。嗯、很多都是来自东南亚国家的，印度尼西亚、泰国、菲律宾啊，也会有日本、韩国的在。互联网工作，公益机构 ，musician， bartender， finance， I did teach some kids， I'm an IT architect， 想学医，当医生 ，I work for CCTN， which is CCTV， 我就是麦克老师，你可爱的英语老师。Hello， 大家好，我是新月，我作为一个在中国生活很多年的假外国人。大家好，我是郭杰瑞，我现在在纽约。中国可能让可以让国际友人、本地人都能够有机会发展。I hope you enjoyed watching other people speaking Chinese and also gained some inspiration from these role models outside of our school community. Let's talk about VCE Chinese. VCE Chinese is scaled up significantly for the ETA school, boosting admission chances into university. The new Chinese VCE course has approximately 30% of its content, which is delivered and assessed in English. Chinese language, culture and society is a new course that has two strands. One, Chinese language and two, culture and society in Chinese speaking communities, which is delivered and assessed in English like I mentioned in my last slide. Let's have a look at the VCE Chinese themes and topics for Unit 1 to 4. Unit 1 and 2 are year 11 content and units 3 and 4 are year 12 content. From the culture strand, you will see the following topics from the chart below. For the language strand, you can say there are some familiar topics such as family and school life, leisure, lifestyles and entertainment. Some of the topics we have covered in our previous studies. All of the four units follow the same pattern in terms of the area of study. Let's look at units 1, 2, which will be completed by the end of year 11. Area of study 1 is the cultural study. Area of study 2 focuses on listening and speaking. Area of study 3 deals with reading and writing. Each area of study has a focus and topics. Unit 1 Area of one topics are Chinese family culture, filial relationship and education. The school-based assessment for this is to produce a 600-word English essay in relation to the topics above. Unit 1 Area of Study 2 topics are family and school life. Please note that this area of study is conducted in Chinese language and our learning outcome focuses on listening and speaking. Unit 1 Area of Study 3 topics are the same as Area of Study 2, Family and School Life, but we focus on reading and writing skills. In Unit 2 Area of Study 1, we will explore the myths, legends and art of China. Again, this is in the culture strand, so the content and assessment will be conducted in English. Similar to Unit 1, you should be familiar with the next two areas of study, which will be related to Chinese language, focusing firstly on listening and speaking skills, and the topics are China travel experiences and geography. I think we have all been exposed to this content while we were in China before, so it is a very exciting topic and also my favorite. The next area of study applies the same topics, but with a focus on reading and writing. During studies at year 11 level, we would like to extend your language skills and enhance your culture understanding for the continuity into year 12 studies. After you complete year 11, you will have developed a foundation of knowledge and skills, being able to expand your vocabulary and sentence structure building to a level to master all of the VCE required vocabulary and grammar and to continue to improve your four language skills. You will also be 
You will also have applied your language understanding through English essay writing. All of this knowledge and skills will prepare you very well for Year Twelve study and the exam. As language is optimal when it is pursued on a regular basis, we would love you to make a commitment and keep working hard in Year Eleven. There are also other after-school classes like SHK Three offered to challenge you and extend your language level even higher. Lastly, there are lots of benefits in continuing to learn Chinese, including access to scholarships at the tertiary level. I would like to see all of my Year Ten students continue with this language, as I think you are an extremely capable group, and I would love to see all of you make further progress in your language learning. If you or parents have any questions in relation to my presentation or VCE Chinese, please feel free to contact me. 谢谢。